Welcome to the Author Roadmap. Edie Melson here, and today I'm going to be sharing how to add personalized social media buttons to your WordPress site. Now, I have already shared a screencast on how to add personalized social media buttons to your blogger site. I did that on my regular website, The Right Conversation, and there are links to that in the body of this post. But today, as promised, I'm showing you how to do it on a WordPress site because the technique is slightly different. So let me go ahead and back up a little bit. I don't have any social media buttons on this one yet, so let me show you what they look like on my regular Right Conversation right conversation site. These are the personalized social media buttons that I put on that particular site. And the first thing you have to do to add these buttons is you have to find the images that you want to link to your individual sites. Now that is actually very easy to do. What you will do is you will go to Google or whatever site you like to use as far as um, doing a search and you type in free social media icons. Now there are all kinds of social media icons. Some of them are free, some of them are for sale. You can even have ones custom designed for your site so they don't look like anybody else's in the world. But for today I'm going to show you where to get the free ones. So you type that in and you scroll down and decide which one of these sites you want to go to to get your free social media icons. Now one thing about the free icons, there's different levels of free. No, they won't charge you any money for free, but some of them have certain requirements, like they require attribution, which means that uh, you have to give credit to the person who designed it in public near your social media button so that if other people see them they can get free advertising basically. So be sure to read the directions from whatever site you decide to use to get your social media buttons and follow those instructions so that you um, aren't in violation of their requirements. Alright, I'm going to click on this site, 30 best free ones, and I'm going to scroll down. This will have some directions on on how much it costs, or not how much it costs, these are free, but uh, what sort of attribution is required. And I scroll through and decide which ones I want to use, and then I would click the download button. All right, once you have downloaded them, you want to save them to your desktop so that they're easy to get to because we're going to be opening those. Now these images need to come either as individual JPEG files or individual PNG files. You don't want them in a single image that you have to cut and paste and resize. You want them in individual images that you can just plug directly in. Alright, once you do that then you're going to go to your WordPress site. I'm going to show you the majority of this on my paid version of WordPress. Now I will also show you some things on the free one. Uh, you will be able to do this in either place. Okay, The process is basically the same and I'll be jumping back between a free WordPress blog that I have and then this paid WordPress site which is for the Blue Ridge Mountains Christian Writers Conference. Alright, so whether you have free or paid, the thing you want to do next is to click on your posting window, your compose window where it says add new post. And you want to go in and title your post, do not delete or publish. Okay, and I'll go on and put social media icons so I know what it was that I didn't want to delete or publish. And the reason you don't want to delete it is because we will be hosting the images with the links right here on this post. And you don't want to publish it because it's not really a post, it's just a place to uh, host the images. So you want to make sure you do that. Okay. Then at the end, when we are done, we won't click on publish, what we will click on is save draft. And this will be saved in your draft files and you will never 
open it, um, never have a reason to hit publish on. Okay, now what you want to do here is you want to be in your visual window, which is um, where you would regularly post. This is where you type in words, and they are words, as opposed to HTML, which would be giving you HTML code or computer code. All right, no coding involved with any of this. This is easy. All right, so we're in the Compose window, and what we want to do is we want to add an image for this particular version of WordPress right here, you would add media. For the other version of WordPress, this is the free version, you can see I've already uploaded images here, this is what you would click on to add media. Okay. Alright, so I'm back here, I'm going to click on add media and I'm going to upload the files. I'm going to select the files. Come on. There we go. All right, this is the folder that I have. I'm going to choose Facebook and I'm going to choose Twitter. Okay, now you will notice on my blogger site, I also chose the email icon. Now, for WordPress, whether you're using the paid version or whether you're using the free version, you cannot hyperlink to an email address. So you can't use that particular one. You'll have to have a different kind of a contact form. So we're just going to do Facebook and we're going to do Twitter. Now one difference between the paid version and the free version. On the free version, you have to upload these images individually. You can't highlight two of them and click choose. If you do that, then they will come out as one single image and you won't be able to hyperlink to both Facebook and Twitter. So for the free version, you upload the images one at a time. But we're in the paid version and I'm going to upload these together. And I'm going to hit choose and you'll notice they're coming up. I want to select both of them. Let's see. Will it let me? No, it won't let me. All right, I'm going to select them one at a time. All right, I'm going to select Twitter. I'm going to insert that into the post. Then I'm going to click back on Add Media. I'm going to hit the Facebook and hit Insert into Post. Whoops. I inserted both of those as Facebook. Let's do Twitter. That one is Facebook already on there. Now let's do Twitter. There we go. Insert into Post. There we go. All right, now what I want to do is I want to hyperlink or I want to link these images to the correct social media networks. So I'm going to click on this one and then I'm going to click my link button. Insert or edit link right there. Alright, I need to pull down the link options. Now I want to make sure that this is open link in a new tab. Alright, now let's go over here to Edie Melson. There's my Facebook. I'm going to copy that and go back to add new post and I'm going to paste it right there. It says open link in a new tab and I'm going to hit add link. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for Twitter. I'm going to hit the link, highlight the image, click on the link, pull my drop down menu up, make sure it says open link in a new tab. I'm going to go over here to my Twitter. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to hit, click add link. Alright, now if you wanted to add Pinterest or Instagram or LinkedIn, whatever, you would do these individually for each of these. First you upload the images, then you go back and you link them. Alright, once they are linked, you're going to go over here and you're going to change your window to the text window, to the HTML window. Now, remember, I promise no coding, but we do have to copy this code. This is the HTML code. So I'm going to copy this. Now, you need to have a second window open that goes to your blog. All right, I have that right here. And what I want to do is I came down here to Appearances, and I want to, let's see, come on. 
see, I don't want media appearances. I want regular appearances, appearance. And this is where I find my widgets tab. So I'm gonna click on widgets right there. Okay, and I want the text widget. So I'm gonna scroll down until I find the text widget right here. All right, this is arbitrary text or HTML. Okay, and we're gonna be plugging in HTML and I'm going to move it over here, just cop, just move it with my uh, mouse all the way up. Come on, there we go. All right, I'm gonna put it in below the search box right there. All right, now you'll notice a drop down has come up and what I'm going to title this is I'm going to put in there, uh, connect with us on or connect with us they'll know it's social media because of the buttons so just says connect with us and then I'm going to paste that code that I had copied okay and then I'm going to hit save and close all right now I did the same thing on the uh, on my WordPress site. Okay, I went over here to the HTML, I copied this, and then I went over here and I added a widget, follow me on social media, and I posted it right here. This is what it looks like on the free version of WordPress. Okay, and then you want to hit saved, and you can see I have already saved this one. All right, let's go back here to this one. All right, it's already saved. And we're gonna come back over here. I'm going to, this is the post. Remember, I was in HTML. I'm gonna click on visual. That's the right one. Do not delete or publish. And I'm just going to click save draft. Okay, now I'm going to view my site. And as you scroll down, you'll notice there are my social media icons. If you click on this one, it takes you directly to Facebook. If you click on this one, it takes you directly to Twitter. And really, there's not anything to it. It's very simple. Uh, you just have to make sure that you have two windows open so that you can get to your widgets without closing out the post that you're copying from. Now, I'll be happy to answer any questions uh, in the, if you'll just leave them in the comment section below. You're also welcome to leave suggestions for future screencasts that you would like to see. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for dropping by. Bye.